like I was going to say, we probably wrote, wrote more, more this, this year, year than, than every, every other year, other year combined, combined. We wrote more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like double. We do quick writes and we like write multiple times a week. And last time we, and like last year we wrote like once a month. <laughs> <laughs> Four yeah. minutes of writing and four minutes of radaring. Uh -huh. And she'll like give us a topic or like she'll read a story and we write about it. Mm -hmm. well, we radar. do a radar system. Which is um, um, replace. No. Reorder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Add, reorder. delete, replace. No, and still, replace. Oh, and replace. Uh -huh. I think some words are like not so strong, so I just like change them. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah. And then I add like descriptive words to them, uh -huh. like for adjectives. It goes off your tongue and how it's pronounced and things. Like if you have too many words, you might want to delete a couple or you can make like, you could like summarize like a couple sentences into one sentence and just make it better. <laughs> and you've gotten better at that this year. Yeah. Yeah, with all your practice. Yeah. So do you actually put your writing under the radar at home? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, every night we write for 10 to 15 minutes. And usually what I do is on Mondays I write, and then on Tuesdays I edit what I wrote on Monday. And then on Wednesdays I write again. And then on Thursdays I revise. And on Fridays we usually don't have homework, yeah. but mm -hmm. we might write over the weekend. Do you write on the weekends? Yes. Yeah. After I got on the routine of it, it was quite fun because then you get to write about anything you want. Uh huh. It's a great time to work on something that you can't really work on in school. Mm -hmm. I wrote about my garden or my family's garden that we have as one of just like a free. I wrote. Oh, and then okay. You can I wrote poems about like all the people in my family. Uh huh. I explain them. Yeah. In um, the fall, I went to a Carrie Underwood concert, so I wrote about that. I wrote about when my niece was born in October. Oh, oh, I had trouble on my homework. <laughs> I was <laughs> I don't even know when I started writing about it. <laughs> oh, and I wrote poems about my family. You thought of something? Um, I was in Massachusetts with my best friend Chloe, and we grew up together, and so we were writing all these stories um, about like memories with each other and then we were sharing them. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. That is so it was something. Huh? Yeah, because um, right, uh, cause right now I, I'm in a series that everyone loves. Um, it's called Titanic Dog Experience. <laughs> the experience of dogs on the Titanic? Yeah. Two uh -huh. dogs. Luna and Leonard. And so you said everyone likes it. Are you reading what you write in your notebook to other people? Yeah, um, it, in Writer's Cafe, uh -huh. which is Burke does it. And, uh, um, I wrote names of different gases that I knew and different boy names. Huh? And, <laughs> and then Halloween ideas, because I had no idea what I was going to do for Halloween, so I wrote about how costume mm -hmm. ideas. Then I started writing a little book review, and then I got oh, to I wrote about how I'm small for my age. <laughs> I don't even know. I oh, I wrote this really cool. I don't really know what it is, but oh, I did a water. Oh. I wrote a story about how many diseases I had. <laughs> it's somewhere. I have um an iPhone, uh -huh. and there's the notes on it, and so I write stories on notes. Uh huh. <laughs> when I well, I write some of them. <laughs> when. I don't have my writer's notebook or like a pen or a pencil. Both have two notebooks. Because we went through the first one. You finished a whole notebook. Yes. And you started on another one. Yeah. yeah. I'm halfway through this one. Oh, Actually, more than my halfway. word. Oh, and this one? Oh my gosh. Um, the first thing I started doing in it was writing how to survive elementary school. I went uh -huh. grade by grade. I did kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. And I haven't finished it. You know what I noticed? Like every page that you guys turn has corrections on it, like you've revised it. Yeah. Wow. To me, that shows oh, I have one a like lot that of rereading. Wow. Yeah. I think you're going to write this summer? Yes, definitely. definitely. So I'm imagining that if I go to your guys' houses, 
there's a stack of notebooks there from all of your years in school because you've been writing like this your whole life. No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have some on my bookshelves and I have some in my desk and I have some. So you've always I'm loved writing. writing. And same with you? But you say no. No. Not much. Are you writing more this year than other years? Ooh, yeah. and in my random story, Mr. Malkin is a I used to not like to write. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until so what I changed? Kept doing it. Well, I started to like think of it because I always thought of writing as being graded and stuff like that as essays because yeah. we had always Boring. had it um, as that before we came into sixth grade. And then Miss Matheson introduced us to just writing freely. Yeah. Like I used to not like to just like my teacher would be like, "Oh, you're done with this. You can go write." And I'd be like, "Oh." Okay, but like now, if Miss Masson said that to me, I'd love it because she's introduced us to new topics, and mm -hmm. so now. Like, oh, in our writing oh, territories. Yeah, we have. Did you give her that idea? Uh huh. Oh. But I got it from somebody else. Oh. <laughs> Is that on yeah. the back of the book? I put my. I changed mine actually. You've even revised your territories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I remember I had like write. Um, if they don't already have their kids writing at night, they definitely should because sure. it helped me a lot more with my writing and it made it so that I got better at it. Yeah. <laughs>